Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIFS home school I am Sabrina Hawk assistant teacher of science national Italian English Christian school day shift dear students today I am going to take a biology class for class 9 student on the base on second part of the chapter 5 so let us move forward to this topic the name of the chapter is food and nutrition and digestion and we will start from an ideal pyramid the lesson 5.2.2 a balanced diet includes carbohydrate vegetables fruits proteins fat oils then if we observe a balanced diet food chart of a teenage boy and girl or a adult male and female or female we may find the presence of carbohydrate is the most in the list placing carbohydrate at the pot bottom and considering the quantities of vegetables fruits protein fats and oil successively if we arrange these substances in successive tires it will look like a pyramid this is called ideal food pyramid there is students from placing to the pyramid it is the def definition of food pyramids and look this is the picture of food pyramid the down part that is large huge part the huge tire is the carbohydrate groups that means potato rice sugar these groups and come to the second one second groups will uh, for the vitamins and minerals group third group for protein groups then fish meat egg and pulses now come to the last one that is fat group fat group is butter oil ghee dalda like this way now come to the principles of food habits selection of food or balanced diet is a precondition for healthy living everybody should know the rules of healthy eating because then it becomes simpler to fulfill the demand of family members taking into amount of uh, food se selection food calories and family income now come to the characteristics of balanced diet the people should have the ability to produce the adequate energy through metabolism. Second one, the protein, fats and carbohydrates should be eaten proportionately. Third one, include fresh fruits and vegetables in the diet for the supply of necessary vitamins, raffes or cellulose. Number four is they must be there must be sufficient water and minerals. And number five is the diet must be easily digestible. And there is no alternative to a balanced diet for a healthy life for a well development body it is important to make food chart or menu by including food that contains six ingredients a realistic menu can be prepared if the demand of the body availability of food and family income are taken into the consideration while selecting item or planning the menu the uh, menu can be made uh, or checked out by the selecting low cost food that contains the equal same food value and selecting the low cost food that contains equal food value instead of the costly food is the good practice now come to the how you can prepare a balanced food chart for your family in order to prepare a balanced food chart some issues should be taken into consideration for instance first one persons sex age occupation and health condition second one knowledge about food value third one presence of adequate protein supply for repairing and bodybuilding fourth one presence of adequate amount of vitamin minerals and water fifth one knowledge regarding climate weather and food habit and last one an economic condition of the family the number of the family members dear students by following this you can make a balanced diet chart for your family and there they give the uh, name of the food and the energy kilocalorie and from here you can easily the find out the low, low, low cost full uh, food which has the same amount of um, food giving the energy in kilocalorie now additional matters that should be special consideration first one for making this balanced diet chart you have to <coughs> remind these things that maintain cleanliness while preparing the food serving and eating food second one drink sufficient water daily water must be boiled before drinking and last one make a habit of eating seasonal fruits fresh vegetables there must be including in daily food chart avoid <coughs> canned and the 
avoid canned and frozen vegetables. Now come to the vitamin deficiency diseases. Dear students, in this part, this vitamin deficiency diseases is important for yourself. Now come to first disease that is goiter. And goiter indicates any kinds of soiling of thyroid glands. Although not all soiling of the thyroid glands are goiters, the thyroid can be enlarged abnormally due to tumors, cancer or other inflammation. But these are not goiter. Again, goiter does not indicate any particular disease of the thyroid. Rather, it is a general symptom of, for the different diseases related to thyroid. Goiter can be caused for various reasons. A deficiency of iodine in food is one of the main reason of goiter. Look, this is the picture of goiter affected patient and this thyroid glands is become very large and there is less iodine in the soil of the region that are away from the sea such as North Bengal and hilly areas. So people of this region tend to suffer more from these diseases. Now come to next one that is night blindness. The disease gerophthalmia occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin A. If the deficiency is not treated, the, uh, the level of intensity of the disease increases. There are 7 to 8 levels of gerophthalmia and night blindness is the lowest level. And generally 2 to 5 years old children suffer from this disease. The sensory raw cells of the eyes got damaged. The patient cannot be seen in the dim light and everything seems to be hazy. Now, if the uh, disease is worsened, the cornea turns cloudy. These are the symptoms of night blindness. Starting from the night blindness, the fourth to fifth level of gerophthalmia can be cured by applying vitamin A supplement and medicine. If the disease becomes acute, there, <coughs> there is no other alternate but surgical intervention. Uh, intervention on corne, uh, corneal transplant vitamin a enriched food such as fish liver oil liver green vegetables yellow and orange fruits and vegetables like ripe ma mango banana sweet pumpkin carrot etc mola and hella fish or if necessary vitamin a capsule should be taken to prevent the disease now come to rickets this is not a viral or bacterial disease Deficiency of vitamin D is the causes or cause of this disease. The vitamin is essential for the absorption of calcium and phosphorus in the intestine, formation of teeth and bones. Milk, butter, eggs, cod liver oil are the source of vitamin D. Cholesterol stored in human skin can also produce vitamin D with the help of ultraviolet ray of the sun. But in this, in that case, at last stage of producing vitamin D occurs in the kidney. The symptoms of this disease are weakening of the bones and swelling of the joints and bending of the bones, especially the leg bones. The structure of the body cannot be maintained as bones become brittle then <clears throat> and the thorax turns narrow and the, it is necessary to feed children vitamin D enriched food and it is wise to keep newborn babies in sunlight keeping the eyes and the reproductive organ covered. A deficiency of vitamin D may occur in whole body remains covered with dark or black cloths regularly or if one stay indoor for a long period of time. Now come to the anemia. Anemia is a general disease often occurring in children and females in our country. Anemia occurs when the density of hemoglobin is less than normal with the respect to age and gender. This disease occurs due to the deficiency of the essential element of food like iron, folic acid and vitamin B12. And there is many causes of anemia and it may occur even without the deficiency, deficiency of any nutrients. The deficiency of iron based protein is the general cause of anemia in Bangladesh. Children, women and reproductive age group that means 15 to 45 years and pregnant mother often suffer from this disease. There may be various causes of having iron deficiency anemia such as excessive blood loss, worms, shortage of iron in food in the growing children and the pregnant mother, obstruction in the absorption of iron based food or infection in intestine. Symptoms of this disease are 
feeling weak, headache, depression, insomnia, insomnia, loss of loss of appetite, palpitation, vision suddenly goes dull. To prevent this disease, eating iron enriched food such as kidney beans, liver, meat, eggs, peanut, vegetables, molasses, etc., is necessary. If anemia is due to the infection of worms in the intestine, the patient need to take worm destroyed drugs if necessary. This disease can be prevented by taking iron supplement under doctor's advice. Giving treatment of anemia without doctor's advice may be dangerous because there are some cases of anemia like thalassemia is also causes the anemia thalassemia uh, where uh, taking normal dose of iron supplement or food may worsen the condition of the patient that means thalassemia patient can't take the iron supplement tablet so it is necessary to diagnose the disease properly before treating the anemia now come to the energy in the food ingredient dear students we take the food for getting energy energy consumption depend on the muscle contraction and relaxation the more the muscle will contract or expand the more energy will be spent the muscle of our body helps in movement and locomotion we can do any work because of our muscles such as moving walking running sitting etc how much energy is spend to do these activities the consumption of energy depends on work so it is energy required if we do not work or move if we do not perform any work only pass our time idly we still need food we feel hungry energy is also spent when resting how does it happen when uh, taking rest our external organs like hand leg do not work but during respiration our uh, our lung and during the pumping of the blood our heart continues to continues to work so all the muscles involved in this function contract and relax to perform work as a whole so consumption of energy still goes on the, this energy called the basic metabolic energy to underline this line that means when we are performing the rest that time which energy we need that is known as basic metabolic energy how much energy is required for a person depends on three factors first one is basic metabolic rate second one is type of daily physical labor and third one is influence of food the demand for the calorie also depends on body growth physical condition and climate now come to the next phase the standard unit of calculate the food energy we just say about the energy of food what we get then how we will count the energy then we will learn that the energy released from the food is heat energy the unit of measuring heat energy is calorie according to physics thousand calorie or one kilo calorie is required to increase the temperature of one kilogram by 1 degree centigrade this is the definition of energy we have learned this in your class 6 science book nutritionist also use the word calorie to indicate the food energy but food calorie in fact is the kilo calorie to avoid that means the international standard of kilojoule should be used instead of kilo calorie that means kilo calorie is uh, have to be used to the standard for the measuring food energy in case of one food calorie is equal to one kilocalorie that means it is equal to four decimal to kilojoule approximately now come to the determining the food energy and food nutrient nature of the nutrients in mixed food and the pure food and what is mixed food the nature of the means uh, the whether it is mixed food or single food mixed food is like milk egg khichuri and guava it contains more than one nutrients and on the other hand single food is sugar glucose it only contains one nutrient the nutrient and the determining of its amount after knowing the nature of food we should know which food contains what nutrients and in what amount the nutrients consistent sorry constant constituent their amount of food value can be known from the food value chart there they give the food value chart the carbohydrate one gram carbohydrate contains four calorie one gram protein contains four calorie and one gram fat contains nine calorie and from this 
calorie we can find out the how much calorie the mixed food has here they give a example that will be your homework the if the 20 gram chira contains 15 decimal 4 gram carbohydrate that means 77 percent 1 decimal 3 2 gram protein that means 6 decimal 6 percent and 0 decimal 2 4 gram fat and who is what is the calorie of 1 kg chira then here by following this formula we have to apply this before the paste that means 100 once paste the ingredients uh, calorie chart by following this chart we have to solve this examples um, problems answered and it is your homework now come to the basal metabolic rate or bmr or basal mass body mass unit uh, index that is bmi we will learn now the de definition of bmr and bmi what is bmr the basal metabolic rate indicates the energy used by human being at resting stage that means we when we don't do not do any physical work we just uh, resting that time how much uh, energy we need that is indicated by basal metabolic rate now what is bmi the body mass index indicates the structure of the body and the presence or fat that means from the bmi we can uh, determine the structure of the body of a person and how much fat he, he or she have that body mass index indicates the relation between height and deposition of fat of a person or of a particular age for healthy living and maintaining good health to determine person sound health and obesity these two scales are very important now come to how to determining the bmi value to calculate the bmi value a little bit difficult it is uh, equations are with respect of sex and age to get an idea about the bmr harris bendick popular formula is used that formula shows how to find out the bmi value of female person and male person that also your homework you have to learn this and you have to uh, write it as your homework now come to the from this bmr value for by applying this formula we can easily find out if we know a person weight a person height and a person age in the case uh, in unit of kg unit of centimeter and unit of it year then here they give suppose a person of 33 years woman is 33 years old and height is 165 centimeter and weight is 94 kg and so her bmr according to ben, uh, ben, harris benedict popular formula will be 1699 decimal 3 calorie that means if uh, he uh, she is in rest that time she need at least 1699 decimal 3 calorie per day now come to the physical condition and the calorie if uh, anybody look this chart uh, with the bmr value how much calorie we need according to our uh, work this is, can be indicated by following chart then there if the above mentioned women hard working that means for the hard working the last one uh, with bmr value we have to multiply with one decimal nine place every day and if her bmr value is one 1699 decimal 3 then her calorie demand will be 1699 decimal 3 multiply with 1 decimal 725 and then now we will find out by calculating it will be 2931 decimal 29 and that means that woman consumed around 3000 calories she can maintain her weight now relation between bmr and energy spent the value of bmr depends on sex age and body structure and the food habit bmr has controlled the production of 60 to 70 percent energy in our body our body gets 10 percent to 12 percent of energy from taking food and gets 20 to 30 percent of energy through physical activities the bmr value declined with the increasing of age and the some people die to keep the body slim so the bmr value declined more as a result there is no more scope to getting slim by dieting bmr value can be raised or increased by adequate physical work that means we can control the bmr value by uh, our 
<coughs> proper amount of physical work then health can be kept sound by following certain rules then here the, uh, come to the next page this is the determining the bmi value then B, how we will find out the bmi value this is also your hormone then body weight that means in kg we have to divide body weight into kg by the height of the body meter square that means we, if we divide the body weight by the body height we will find out the bmi and if you observe by bmi <coughs> index we can easily understand the uh, is physical structure or fat uh, uh, the percentage of fat in her or his body look this is the uh, this is this person's bmi value is below than 8 decimal 5 this person is underweight and this is the perfect weight that means 18.5 to 24.5 and if the weight is 25 to 29 decimal 9 the person is overweight and this if this is the uh, above the 30 the person is fatty person and by following the BMI index we can easily understand the physical condition or physical structure of the person. Now come to the exercise and the rest. Everybody should do adequate physical activity to keep the body healthy. Now our day obesity is increasing as our physical movement have become restricted due to the scarcity of playground, nature of work and academic posture, academic pressure and less physical activity and we are becoming <coughs> uninterested in the physical activity. So, the body does not remain strong and healthy. By doing adequate physical activity, we can maintain efficiency of our body, a long and healthy living possible excess by the practicing and our mod moderate work daily by taking an adequate food. Excessive body weight can be uh, decreased by physical exercise. We can prevent diabetes, heart disease and some kinds of cancer through physical exercise. There are different types of physical exercise such as athletes exercise and athletes athletics and exercise that makes bones and muscles strong walking swiftly jogging running and swimming playing cycling etc are the example of physical exercise rest is very important for our health and rest is essential after physical and mental work laying down and thus and sleeping is a part of rest after rest different parts of the body regains energy and stored, stores it and we will uh, <coughs> then uh, when we are taking rest uh, we, our body is get ready for doing work again now come to the to uh, use of chemicals in food preservation Food preservation is processed by who is the rotting of the food can be restricted. As a result, the properties acceptability of food value re, uh, remain intact. The food preservation preventing the rotting of food by bacteria, fungal infection or the oxidation of fats, fish drying, salted hilsha, pickle, cooling by ice, fish shidol, uh, then pond, nappi, etc. are the uh, Customary uh, means of the food preservation, modern method of the canning and smoking process are also used to preserve in healthy approved chemical substances are used to preserve food so that the decompos decomposition bacteria and fungal infection do not happen. Generally sodium nitrate, sodium chloride or table salt, calcium apernate and sulfur dioxide. Uh, sodium biphosphate, sodium benzoic and sherbet that means sodium potassium calcium are used and there are approved chemicals they are approved chemicals harmful formalins are various kinds of color substance should not be used because it can be dangerous. Now how ad adulterant in the food use of colors just as a clean environment is necessary to live this beautiful uh, to in this beautiful world similarly eating safe food is essential nowadays various harmful and unhealthy chemical substances and colors are used as <coughs> adulterants and as a result public health is now threatened if 
this health risk continues, the Bangladesh will face a great disaster in course of in course of time just like the Romans. The Romans used water con container made of lead and as a result m people who drank the water got affected by poisonous lead and uh, give birth to a crypt generation. Now come to the next phase the some harmful effects of the health tricks commercial color used in the textile or uh, for coloring are sometimes used in the ice cream blended ice cream candies beguni chops etc these types of food gradually affect liver function and causes various diseases bacteria that helps in decomposition ca cannot grow in fish fruit and other food such food stuffs submerged in formalin and formalin is too much harmful for our cells. These poisonous compounds are the causes of complex diseases symptoms and may even cause some types of cancer. Now come to this chart. The list of the chemical substances and adulterants used in the food are shown in the chart below. Come to the antibiotic that is used a probable source then used in the fish and cattle food stored in the animal body and remedy only drugs approved by the registered physician should be used. Now heavy metals and inedible comp uh, component used in fish and cattle food such as waste of tanneries stored in the animal body and what is remedy avoid using inedible components such as waste product of tannery, coal, uh, soil, faces of animals. Now come to commercial colors. Unapproved colors used in industries used in the manufacturing ice cream, blend ice cream, artificial juice, colored drinks and producing sweet chops etc. The remedy will be avoid the using of in in inedible components such as waste products of tannery coal and soil sorry come this is same is written here we have to avoid this type of uh, using color and we have to avoid the this type of uh, eating the this type of coloring food now come to the formalin mainly used in the preserve of dead bodies in the morgue then un unapproved use of for this preservation of the fish fruit milk etc and avoid using formalin formalin is very health, harmful for our health now come to insecticide use as pesticide in vegetables pro, uh, production but it is poisonous effects exist in many cases and uh, <coughs> unapproved use of ddt in the dry fish now after expiry of the effects of um, poisonous chemicals vegetables should be sold not to be DDT, not to use DDT in dry fish. DDT is very harmful for our health. Now come to the chemical substances excessive uh, and the uh, unapproved use of chemical substances to ripen fruits and tomato excessive use of uh, sherbet in the soft drinks and energy drinks. And, the remedy is allow the fruit to ripe naturally and dissolve, uh, sorry, discourage the use of carbide, use the suitable amount of sherbet. Now come to the microbes at the time of production and the pre preparation of food, microbes can be, can get mixed with the food and remedy will be uh, be ensure of the biosecurity now come to the homework this is our homework you have to solve the problem of page number 102 and you have to write the formula of determining bmr value which is given by harris bandit and along with the bmr values uh, determining formula you have to write the formula of bmi value that means the body weight in kg divided by body height of the body in meter square dear students i have finished my today's topic hope you have understood you have to submit your homework copy on uh, 29th may of this month so stay safe stay home thank you allah peace